This is a program for Rutgers students who are interested in genetic counseling. They try to do clinical rotations within the different hospitals in New Brunswick, Robert Wood Johnson included. I talked to a number of the program directors and asked them what kind of things really are they looking for to people that have experience. You know, and since these students are undergrads, they're not, they don't have a lot of life experience, I wanted to make sure that they've seen and have exposure to people who have lived in a, are going through a crisis of some kind. There are a couple of universities that have some um, coursework in genetic counseling, but nothing that has as complete breadth of what I've been trying to develop. I've been a genetic counselor for 17 years, um, 13 years here at St. Peter's, actually 14 years now here at St. Peter's. It is a process that helps people understand their risks, the disease that's in their family or that they're at risk for their options for testing and management and helping them make the best decisions for themselves. The genetic counseling certificate program that we created at Rutgers is really advantageous for us undergraduate students to get into grad school. They are able to experience what may go on before we actually see the patient and then all the follow-up that the students may see about after the fact, you know, following up with their ultrasounds, following up with their genetic testing that we may have ordered. Case preparations um, during the appointment, um, hearing the diagnosis, seeing the patient's reactions, um, what help was offered and specifically what the genetic counselor does as a result in these appointments. The nervous part's over so when I get to grad school and I have rotations there, I'm not worried if I'm really going to like it or if I'm going to be scared or anything. The students that we get are, are fantastic. Um, they're motivated. They are really interested in genetic counseling. What I realized more as we spoke about genetic counseling in our courses that maybe I thought that was more for me, maybe more in a hospital setting, working with patients, working with people with disorders right in front of me, um, people with lives, not just people in textbooks. The different reactions and even backgrounds and um, where they come from, what's their history, it definitely is just unique for every single patient.